And welcome back. Catherine Freshly is here today. Um, I think for the past few years, I would have said it's from Third Mutual. That's well, right. she still is. <laughs> you live there. Yeah. But you are now uh, the board president of uh, JRF. Welcome. And well, congratulations you much, to you. Well, thank you. Uh, the meeting, of course, was held on um, Wednesday. It was their, what we call the annual meeting, but uh, right. it, of course, uh, brings in whatever open slots there are. Uh, the um, corporate members vote on right. the new members for GRF, right? right? Well, yeah, the purpose of the annual meeting, as you would expect in most corporations, is uh, they give a kind of a brief report. Uh, some people do. Yeah. And then they open it up to questions uh, basically from the floor. Uh, and then it's uh, an opportunity for any of the directors who uh, are leaving the board mm -hmm. to have the opportunity to, uh, you know, to express uh, their own opinion or their appreciation uh, of the service or what they feel they may have accomplished. It's really up to the individual director how he, you know, what kind of legacy do they want to Exactly. leave and most of them just really say they've really enjoyed serving the community and I think most of us who serve on boards do that mm -hmm. because we have a very definite interest in the community and as I've said many times and when I've been here and as you know having been uh, on third mutual for six years that uh, you know, my goal is to make sure that we have an enduring community right. for active senior citizens that is affordable. Right. And that's really our, our objective. And if we keep that in mind, then, uh, you know, every, every member of the boards, that's really their goal. We may have different ideas of how we should get there. Mm -hmm. uh, but in a democracy, you're always going to have that. Right, exactly. See? And so it's really up to the board members to represent their positions and explain it adequately to the community so that whatever action we might be taking, and there isn't necessarily gonna be any, but whatever we do mm -hmm. and any policies that we apply uh, are basically in the best interests of the community. Right, exactly. And you know, I don't, I, I, I don't know of anybody that's been a board member whose goal is to do something that is gonna be harmful to the community. Right, and as you said there, as we've seen in the last year, there's been a lot of different, differing opinions and ways to do things, but I don't think anyone, that was their vision. It may not have been That's the right. vision of everyone, but it was their vision or your vision or wh right. whoever. Right, yeah. and, you know, and that's what I'm trying to bring to the, to the GRF board. I think we're gonna, we're gonna have a real strong board. We've mm -hmm. got some, you know, we've got uh, board members with a lot of, a lot of talent. Mm -hmm. Uh, come with a lot of different backgrounds. Uh, a lot of, um, and, and, and f my observations for the last uh, year, because I did go to the GRF meetings uh, when I could, and, and as many people might uh, recall, um, on, a, on some topics I, I spoke out about it. Mm -hmm. No, uh, really? And, <laughs> you? <laughs> so, that, you know, I, I'm, I'm not reluctant to no. speak my mind. Uh, but and one you shouldn't the, be. No, nobody and, on the board should be. That's yeah. right. And 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 if I've made up a position, then I'll do the best I can to argue that position. And I think one of the things that I fundamentally believe, uh, and I will tr attempt to do as president, to is to allow the dialogue to take place with the community. Yes, it you know board meetings are restricted. We try to try to keep the time down. Right. But. We want to make sure that people have the opportunity to speak out. Uh, sometimes they may say things that I don't like, but they have the right to say it. Mm -hmm. And I fundamentally believe that. And anybody who, who knows me, I was, you know, with the media policy, I was one that was very much opposed to having us have to sign a document for that. Because, right. you know, uh, even the major networks don't require that mm -hmm. kind of thing. And, you know, and, and, and it can be inhibiting to people. And we shouldn't feel that we have to constrain uh, the community from speaking what they perceive to be in the best interest of the community because we really have to we have to allow the open dialogue but we have to then democratically come to the solution right that is appropriate going forward and that's the role of the boards and the directors is to is to make those decisions 
Exactly. You know, on the, uh, the annual meeting, uh, what I thought was um, very good, someone uh, came, came up, I think one of the first comments was the rumors, and the rumors, you know, about uh, uh, PCM self-managing this and that, and many of the board members spoke mm -hmm. up and said, these are rumors, folks. We've never discussed this. We've never. Right. And I know many of the board members over the years have, no matter what side they've been on, have said, we hear rumors all the time. Ask us. Come up here and ask us directly. That's what somebody did, and it was answered. Right. Yeah. And I think that, you know, and that's always uh, that's the appropriate thing uh, for people to do, as opposed to be trying to, to pass rumors or mm -hmm. try to excite people. I mean, you know, working behind the scenes and try to get people excited over topics that are inappropriate or not correct does not, is not helpful to the community. Right. Now, I, what I, oh, I was just going to bring up one other thing. Because I, I remember Catherine and I talked about this before, and it was just on my mind. That's and I was going to say, uh, once again, you're not going to be able to golf much. <laughs> the next week. I don't know what made me think about that, but I was going to get on to talking about no, but, but, uh, golf. But, but, and that's, about but that's absolutely true. <laughs> now, now uh, af the day after, I'm, uh, first week of December, I still got a golf tournament that I'm committed to be <laughs> running in, 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 in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. So after yeah. the first board meeting. We had I'm, talked about that, that many times before. <laughs> you're so right. So you got another three years of, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. But spe uh, you know, speaking of, um, of golf and all, we've seen that um, uh, one of the things uh, that mm -hmm. was uh, talked about and someone, I think someone brought up at the meeting there was uh, just how, how things have worked out. Uh, there was gonna be a lengthening of one of the golf courses uh, to make it, um, to make it a full uh, par 72 right. course, I think it was a 71. Right. And of course, there was another solution that was found that was right. a simple one and saved like $200,000. And these right. are just some of the simple things that can be done that still accomplishes something, but at a less cost and everybody comes out smiling. Well, you're right. And, and, and those of many people who uh, um, were aware, five, is actually almost six years ago, when I first got on the, on the board, I had put together kind of a program and went out and, and talked to all the golfers, you know, and made presentations. Mm -hmm. Because at the time, I had felt, and, and, and anybody checked the record, I basically said, look, at $8 a round, that's low. Yes. I said, golfers, if you really want to have the kind of course you'd like to have, mm -hmm. then, and I had talked already with, with Janet Price, who was here at the time, I said, look, if we raised it to $12 a round and put that $4 into a set-aside reserve for the golf course, mm -hmm. then every golf round would be paying into that reserve, and then over a few years, we'd have enough money to address the issues yeah. for this golf course. The golf mm -hmm. course is a, is a great golf course, yeah. but let's recognize it's 50 years old. Mm -hmm. The sprinkler system, now we're getting new tr treated water, the cost of water is doubling to us. Mm -hmm. yes. Yet the sprinkler system, you know, uh, Sean has done a great job of trying to, to, uh, to take care of the sprinkler system, and he is putting money in and changing the sprinkler. But a new sprinkler system, which would cost us one and a half million dollars, we would be in a position to reduce the amount of water required because most go a lot of golf courses now have smart sprinklers, and right. so they know yes. where, where the yeah. dry spots are and where it's not, and you only mm -hmm. put the water where it's required. Mm -hmm. okay? And then we'd been building up a reserve to do that instead of now we're getting hit with things. And, and many of the golfers, they really, they got angry at me. They said, well, you, you, you know, I had some people supporting it, and others mm -hmm. say, no, you can't that. do it. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and so, and GRF at the time said, no, we can't do it. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to do it. And now we find ourselves that we've got situations where there's things that we should be doing. Mm -hmm. But now we're going to be asking the rest of the community and, and through the reserves, taking it a little bit at a time and doing the things that you said. Yeah, we look for the least expensive way to get things accomplished. But there are things I've talked to. The, I've talked to uh, Sean. I've talked to, uh, to Roger and to the golf people. And there's things we can do, I think, without lengthening the course to make it more difficult because one of the things people look at, you know, you take a look at Riviera. Riviera isn't as long as any of the new courses the PGA play. 
But yet, right. Riviera is a difficult course because it's got the grass, it's got Kakuya grass like we have, which makes it very difficult to play because the ball doesn't roll, mm -hmm. it doesn't, you know, and, and so the characteristics there, so it doesn't have to be long to be difficult if you're smart in the way you maybe redesign the course and put some waste areas in. We put some lateral hazards yeah. in. We do things that, that as penalize they, as they somebody. they call it, it's a shot maker's That's course. That's right, it becomes yeah. more of a shot maker's course. And, yeah. and that kind of thing, uh, you know, to me, could make the course really exciting. Now, for mm -hmm. some people, they say, my God, you know, that becomes then more difficult for beginners, and it does, no question. Right. I'm I like sorry to get courses. off on that. <laughs> no, because I, 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 you know, I can't hit that long, so I'm better at the shot maker's course. I am too. I score much better yes. on a shot maker's course. The worst course. are the ones where they have the, uh, the newer courses that they have the, uh, the areas you can't go into environmentally well, they, protected. Oh, that was like strawberry hit, farms. Yeah, you, you hit the ball like two feet out, and you're like, I can't touch it. That's I can't right. do anything. And you can see anyway, it there. <laughs> we're kind of off the course there. That's but, right. Um, the, the thing is, uh, the point being made is that uh, there's different ways to do things. Right. And sometimes uh, you may have to look at increasing things, increasing fees, such as the golf or whatever it may do. So that particular venue is maintained equitably. Right. And, and, yeah. and to a standard that, that people coming from someplace else. Yeah are going to expect to have. Exactly. And, and that's really, let's recognize, I mean, our community is, is a fabulous place to be. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and I know I've been working with, with Carol Moore, one of the things uh, on, on the communications, uh, media and communications. Right. Yes, com have. And one of the things we're thinking about is how do we, maybe we need to have kind of maybe a couple different separate videos. And one video for promoting us, because we're only about mm -hmm. five or six miles from the ocean. We got very temperate climate here. Yeah. We got a hundred different models. We've got all these different amenities. We are a community where we're allowing people to, when they buy, to improve. And you know, and and and, and really, sometimes people drive through our community. The houses look. They don't look identical. You go to any of these new communities. You know, they may have four or five different models, and they all look the same. Mm -hmm. And they don't have any space around them. We got open space. These are things that we could readily be promoting and selling. Exactly, yeah. Which, for this community, is exciting. But we've got to make sure that what we're doing is the structure we're putting in, the infrastructure is there mm -hmm. to support it. And through the, uh, through the assessments, the annual assessments, and one of my goals, and you've heard me many times on television, say, look, guys, we've got to, we've got to balance the allocation of the, of the funds that are coming in on a monthly basis. We've got to, you know, and, and in business we did that all the time as far as when you were, you know, particularly when I was working for GE, how much money and where are you going to put it because there's only so much money available and you've got to be logical in the way you're doing it. We know we've got work to do in the housing mutuals because we've got dry rot, we've got sewer issues. Those things have to be addressed. We've got to make sure that we're maintaining the housing units as well as figuring out how do we then effectively maintain the amenities. Exactly. That's the goal. All right. You make it sound simple, <laughs> but it's not. Well, thank you for coming on. And uh, you'll have a lot of meetings between now and the first right. regular monthly meeting, which I believe, what is that? That would be about December 3rd? December 2nd? Se December 3rd. 2nd. Yeah, I, think I don't have is. a calendar yeah. in front yeah. of me, but it's the first Tuesday of December. First Tuesday. Always the first Tuesday. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, you're welcome, Ken. Good to see thank you again, you and we'll, we'll see you a lot you. more. Okay. Well, thank you very much. We'll be right back. Okay, bye. bye.